Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Nintendo Switch eShop review for November of 2018. I am the, your host, Josh Thomas, and we're going to be looking at the Nintendo Switch eShop, which is basically one of the most unpleasant experiences you could possibly have because there's about a million games added to it every single minute, and it's impossible to look for things that are worth your while. Uh, so anyways, let's do that. I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm hot. I just had to turn my heat off. It's, it's cold outside, but it's really hot in here. So I'm a little annoyed. I don't even know if I want to do this. So welcome to the video. Okay, uh, we're just gonna look at things that look bad mostly because that's what's more funny. Uh, so this game is called Swap This. This is a video game about swapping your gender. It's very progressive. Um, an arcade style puzzle experience. So you got these little weird fish. Uh, oh, escape from the mega jaw. Ooh. Um, I don't know what that is. This looks like it belongs on the iPad. This is an iPad game. How much is it? A dollar. Okay. Uh, oh, we got an anime game. 25 bucks. Break the curse is to kiss your ch chew break the... I can't read... To break the curse is to kiss your true love. Let your love bloom. I want to be a cat. An odd-eyed black cat caught on... I can't keep doing this. Well, this is anime. Cat anime. This is anime based on cat. Way to look for love. Kitty love. Okay, this just got really weird. There's a guy and a cat. There's a guy and a cat again. What the? <laughs> and just like that, we are in, ladies and gentlemen. We are, all right, the lawnmower is started. We're ready to go. What is happening in this screenshot? All right, we got a guy who's slamming another guy into the cement pavement with his just one hand, just one arm. He's very strong, apparently. And his face is really what does it for me. He just doesn't even look that angry. He just looks like, yep, got to do this again. Like he's just casually snapping a man's neck. And why is a cat watching it all? The cat's just like, yep, here we go again. Well, that's that. I don't, is that, okay, what is the cat? Is the cat making people fall in love with it? Ooh, that woman is sweating or crying. I think crying. I don't know. Oh, wait, did she just give the cat a bath? You're not supposed to give cats baths. That's why they have tongues. They clean themselves. I'm concerned, to say the least, about this video game. What is the description? Maybe there's something in there. Hold on. Uh, story. Flower shop clerk Honoka has been occupied with her work. One night, when she visits the park that she normally goes to, period, for some reason, She's been cursed by the odd-eyed black cat that she becomes a cat only at night. There's only one way to break the curse. To have a true love's kiss. No, wait, that was spelled right. Never mind. A true love's kiss. I don't know why. I... Uh, in order to break the curse, she lives a double life as a human by day and a cat by night. Wow! There's all the characters and the illustrators. It's weird to put the credits of the game in the description, but okay. Uh, we missed some, though. I want to be a cat. Odd-eyed black cat caught on this casual thought and was cursed to be a cat only at night. The fantasy romance of human by day and cat by night. Ah, oh, that old romance. We've all, we've all fantasized about that. Falling in love with a cat. Oh, if only. This game has been recorded with the popular voice actors Somo Saito, Atsushi Tomaru, Horiko Yoshimoto, Tomoeki... Meino and to Takahiro Sakurai. Oh, Sakurai is in this? Enjoy the fully recorded voice throughout the story. Well, I'm going to walk away from this as quickly as possible. We got um, Knock Knock. Who's there? Ooh, here we go. Ready? This is okay. An eerie, uncomfortable horror is creeping from PC over to Nintendo Switch. It is a game as much about horror as it is about horror. Wait, what? It's, it is a game as much about horror as it is about... As it is of horror. That don't make no sense. 
Knock Knock is a gorgeous survival horror game with more style than sense. What? That's not a... That's not a compliment, necessarily. One of the most fascinated and even enduring gaming experience I've had in ages. Well, there you go. That was one. That was a compliment. Uh, what is it? We got some weird little gnome guy that looks like he works at a Spencer's gift store. Uh, he's got somebody tied up in a straight jacket or something. Okay. Uh, that's a thing. I like the logo. Okay. Let's just move on. Hidden folks. This is uh, search for hidden folks in hand-drawn interactive miniature landscapes. Unfurl tent flaps. Ooh. Cut through bushes, slam doors, and poke some crocodiles. Roar! What a description. Oh, God, my eyes. This hurts my... Oh, God. My eyes are melting. This doesn't... This hurts my eyeballs. Just having all these black lines with the white background. I can't look at this anymore. I'm going to go blind. My my retinas. We got Steven Universe, Save the Light. Okay. Oh, what is this? Save me, Mr. What? Save me, Mr. Taco. Tatsuki Taco. Oh, God. I was looking at this, and this looks so great. Look at the style and everything. It's colorful. Look at the little characters. And then it, it's, it's, it's this. I mean, maybe it's fun, but what is this? Is this an old game or is this a new game? I think this is a new game. A blast from the portable gaming past. In a world where humans and octopi are at war, Mr. Taco, is is this an old game or is this new? I don't know. But that looks great. That... I'm sorry, but I just... It, hmm. This looks really good. I like the art style on this. Fly your spaceships, rescue your dog. Okay. Look at that. That's a great art style. It looks beautiful. How much you want to bet? It's like some pixelated thing. Oh, it's not. Okay. Cool game that trains math. What? Add, subtract, and avoid missiles. Oh, this is like a learning game? Quick, let's get out of here. It's about to teach us something. Oh, Wheel of Fortune, baby. Here we go. Play as a contestant on Wheel of Fortune. All rights reserved. America's favorite TV show. Anytime, anywhere. Let's get a load of some of these people. Wow, look at that. It's like I'm watching the TV show. Oh, God, look at this doofus. Huh. There you have it. What is that? Chocolate cards. Chocolate cats. Chocolate catastrophes. What is this? Chocolate what? Chocolate cakes! It's chocolate cakes, I bet. Okay, I win. How much did I win? What do we got here? Trivial Pursuit Live? Ooh. See, I always feel like, why wouldn't you just play the board game version of this? Because, like, wouldn't it be more fun to, like, physically have the board game? I don't know. Because Trivial Pursuit, don't you have to draw things in that? I don't remember. Uh, oh, look at the art of this. Yeah, I like the art of this. Okay, KO, let's play heroes. That looks cool. Hey, it's a really crappy art style, but I kind of like it. Oh, is this like a Cartoon Network thing or something? I don't know. I sort of like the art style of this game. Whoa, look at them. It looks so stupid that I like it. Gar's Hero Supply and Bodega. Okay, maybe that's cool. That one looked like it could be cool. Look, what is with this? Is it like the holiday season? So everybody's getting their game shows out? We've got Wheel of Fortune. We've got Jeopardy. We've got Trivial Pursuit. Risk? What? What is Risk? Oh, God, it looks way more complicated than I could ever imagine. Gal Metal. What is Gal Metal? Ooh. Look at these Gal... Wow! What? Okay, I'm a little confused. I like those weird squid alien things or octopus aliens. Those are pretty neat. Well, I'll download that later. I don't want people to think I have a secret anime fetish. Um, sports party. 
<laughs> sports Party brings the sun, sea, and sports right to your fingertips. Whether at home or on the go, challenge your family and friends to frisbee, jet ski, basketball, golf, skateboard, and beach tennis to claim victory. Enjoy frisbee, jet ski, basketball, golf, skateboarding, and beach tennis. Play each sport your way with various modes and... Oh, oh God. Look at that. It's the diversity is our strength sports party. Golly. Looks so generic. Man, I really wish we sports had a sequel. Can we get can we get Switch Sports Resort already? My goodness. Change your clothes. She looks pretty pleased with herself. All right. Let's just move on. Demon crystals. What? They've got big boobs. Those anime girls. All oh, those anime girls, they have such big breasts. Big breasts on the anime girl. <laughs> hey, it looks pretty neat though. I mean, it looks a little like this was ported from some like PC thing or like a PlayStation 2 game. But uh, I don't know. I like the colors. And I like boobs. Ah, oh, the boobs looked so big. Did you guys see how big those boobs looked? Whoa, 911 operator. What? I get to be... Uh, it's People's lives are in your hands. Oh, my God. This is a nightmare. Oh, my God. Is this literally a simulator for being a 911 operator? Holy crap. This seems stressful. Wow. A lot of people on the uh, East Coast need some help. That's That's crazy. Look at this. Hello, 911 operator. This woman just fainted, and she's wearing a wonderful maple leaf dress. Look at that. That's, that's amazing. Um, Piant... Piantis... Pian... Pianista... 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 Pianista, pianista, pianista. What did Easter do to me that I'm gonna pee on it? Ah, 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 ah. Hi, Josh Thomas. Stay tuned. Lots of good jokes like that coming up. What is this? Oh my God! It's Beethoven. Beeth oven. Who's Beeth oven? Somebody's sending me messages on Skype when I'm trying. Hey, Mallory, I'm trying to do a, a eShop video. This is very important. Can't you see? We've got more Zart. Why would you want more Zart? I heard he's a jerk. Beth oven, beef oven, pag anini, Schubert, Schubert, Hayden, ha nettle. Well, I'm sure this fits right at home with the 14 year old demographic that owns a Nintendo Switch. La da dee, la da do, la da dum. Seven billion humans. Oh, this is by those people that made uh, World of Goo and the um. The Fireplace game. Why can't I remember it? The Fireplace game is really good. But they haven't made a good game that I've... Well, let me rephrase that. They haven't made a game that I've liked since the Fireplace game. Like, this just looks complicated. I like them, but I don't know. This just like, what? I don't know. I'm stupid. Make a game for me. I'm stupid. Make a stupid game. Suicide Guy. This is how I feel when I have to look at the eShop on the Switch. Guys, ask me what time it is. <clears throat> oh, I'm glad you asked. It's um, Fly O'Clock. Is this... What is this? I'm mildly intrigued. I have no idea what this is. Let's look. It's only $2. How long will you survive on the clock face while jumping as fast as... That's what I thought this was. Play 5 O'Clock. Incredibly fun arcade game for up to four players. It's a tiny, highly addictive single and multiplayer game. It plays a fly, jump on a clock face while avoiding the clock hands. Jump as fast as you can and leave your opponent's butt. So that's what I assumed it was by looking at it. And for some reason, I like the idea of this. But why would this in and of itself be an individual game? Like this to me seems like it was on the iPad and like you touch the screen to make them jump. Like this had to be on something else. This would make a fun mini game in a collection of mini games, but not a game in an, in and of itself. Word puzzles. 
Well, hello there, old folks. We found out there's a whole bunch of 80-year-old people that have recently bought a Switch. So can we intrigue you to download some word puzzles? Oh, I'm getting older as I'm speaking. Let's see. A bumper collection of six favorite Poggy word puzzle games. Let me get a Werther's Original Candy for the rest of the description. Okay, let's see. The puzzles include word maze... Like a wiggly word search, find the words and solve the maze. Oh, mix-ups. Oh, no, that sounds scary. One word, the word search puzzle where there's only one word to find. Mm, can the word be Dylan? Dylan is my grandson's name, and I love him. For some reason, he runs away from me when I try to hug him. Okay, God, that hurt my neck. Let's get out of here. See, the joke there was old people like word puzzles, and it's out of place on the Switch. That was the joke. Okay, moving on. Heavy Burger. Heavy Burger, ladies and gentlemen. That, okay. Holy crap, wait a minute. This guy just blasted a laser through that poor wiener's abdomens. Wow. So that's how they make hot dogs. All right. Wow, look at this. Blue team, red team. What is this? What? I have no clue what's going on. What does any of this have to do with burgers? So is it like they broke into other arcade games and they're causing trouble? That could be an interesting concept. I'm confused beyond belief. Okay, blast, dodge, and charge away through an array of classic 1980s Data East arcade machines. Heavy Burger is an absolute mega blast. Playing on characters in a nostalgic inducing collage of retro game pieces from Burger. So I think that's what it is. I think you just like break through. Doing that. I mean, that's an interesting concept. I can't say that it looks like it's necessarily really well done, but it's interesting. Oh, Luke and Rebecca. I've been waiting for this one. Ooh, look at them. They are a... Why is there a robot cat? What? Okay. When you walk away, you won't hear me say, please, oh baby. Simple and clean is the way that you're leaving my bathtub tonight. I don't know what this, I don't know why that just happened, but um, what is the story? <laughs> Sirens echo throughout the city once more. On every street corner, the murmur of voices. The familiars. A group of phantom thieves have struck again. And they're all anyone can talk about. Their identities and purposes are mysteries, but they always get what they're after. Feel free to call me Japan if you need me to voice act any anime. Clearly I'm capable. Car Quest. Hey, that's the thing from Mario Odyssey. What is this game? Wow. Hmm. All right. Storm in a teacup. Well, I'm intrigued. A magical teacup ride. Okay. This screams iPad for some reason. But okay. $3. That convinces me that it was on the iPad. A boy, a dream, and an enchanted teacup. It's time for an exciting experience you'll never forget. Storm's brother, Cloud, has created an amazing dreamlike world for you to explore, packed with all kinds of challenges. Guide Storm through each stage, solving puzzles, <gasps> avoiding pitfalls, and beating bad guys in this magical platform adventure. I don't know why I'm such a dick to these developers. I'm only kidding. Storm in the teacup, your game's probably perfectly cute. I just feel like being a dick. Oh, my goodness, it's finally time for Dracula's Legacy. Mystery, hidden object, puzzle adventure game. Wow, look at this. We got a lot of... Dr we got Dracula hanging. Dracula, for some reason, kind of in his bat form, but also in his humanoid form. A little weird. 
Oh man, this is spooky. Oh, go suck her blood. Go suck her blood. Wow, that, that's a really big mouse or everything else is very tiny. Oh, jump scare. Oh my God. Man, wasn't expecting that. Dracula's legacy. Man, $20. Surely you jest. Uh-oh, puzzle wall. Build the wall. Wow. Look at those animals. Oh, is this like the Japanese game shows where they have to try and fit through the hole in the wall? E, that's exactly what this is. Okay. <laughs> I feel like a video game version of it kind of defeats the fun, maybe? No, I don't know. Because like the motion, if this uses motion controls, then that's kind of funny. $8. I wouldn't pay $8 for it, but okay, whatever. Um, man, look at this. Eternum. Sir Arthur has gotten old. Too old. Help him to find the eternal youth. Eh. <laughs> look at the artwork and then look at the game. Wait, what is that wall doing? Oh, it's spitting out water. That face on the wall is like, is that... What is it... <laughs> Okay, I mean, it looks like it's well-made enough. Whatever, I mean, it looks fine. Whatever. Um, chicken range? Oh, my God. Word puzzles again. What? Chicken range. Guys, I was waiting. I sat there every single night when I would say my prayers before bed. I was like, God, please, please bring chicken range to the Nintendo Switch. And I'd pray to Funbox Media. And I'd say, Funbox Media, please, my God. You guys are like fun in a box. Please bring uh, Chicken Range to the Switch. And here it is. I mean, it's got all the quality of like something an amateur would have uploaded to Newgrounds.com in the year 2000. It looks so good. Oh, my God. And people say that the Switch doesn't have must-have games. Like, oh, the Switch isn't very powerful and it can't make, you know, really detailed games like the Xbox PlayStation. Have you seen Chicken Range? Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, look at the ball. Look at that orb. Holy shit. Am I watching a Pixar movie right now? Oh my god. How did they pull off that effect? I mean, it's like, I don't know. Did they go into like Photoshop and just scribble a bunch of lines in a ball? That How would they do that? And then, okay. Oh, yes. I love the boldness of realistic GIF images of guns mixed with a uh, child's... Um, chicken drawings you can use a can of shino sparingly it'll increase your vis visor of eggs oh my god they added that feature too shoot the ammo crates to replenish your supplies holy cow look at all the detail in that ammo crate there's like seven words on it this way up ammo fragile this way oh that is so cool why does it say this way up on the bottom of the crate though that doesn't make a lot of sense oh cool just signs Nice, nice, nice. Chicken range, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my ah! <laughs> twenty five dollars <laughs> Oh my god it's twenty five dollars Oh my god Holy Lord you're taking the piss. Playing chicken range is simple. Shoot as many chickens as you can before you get covered in eggs. Fun and quirky shoot 'em up game. The object of the game is to Nintendo. Where are you at when it comes to quality assurance? Holy crap! How is this game 137 megabytes? This should be like kilobytes of of data. What? I can't even. I'm, should I download that and play it? Or no, I'm not going to pay $25. I'll never get my money back in the video's ad revenue. I can't. Somebody gift that to me somehow. All right. 
Well, that's everything that recently released on the Switch. What do they got for feature? We don't really look at feature that often because there's not much that we need to like really talk about. So we got we can buy Smash Brothers Fighter Pass already. That's funny because it doesn't come out for a month. And the Fighters, the DLC stuff doesn't even come out for longer. I'm excited about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm going to get Pikachu though. Um, it'll be my first Pokemon game to really sit back and play. So I'm very excited about that. Diablo 3, didn't that game release like 10 years ago on other consoles? I don't, what? Super Mario Party, you guys know I'm not really a fan of that. Splatoon 2, that's really good. Starlink and Paladins and Fallout Shelter. Uh, Overcooked 2 is really cool. I haven't downloaded it, but it's really cool. I've seen, you know, like I liked the first one. Um. Okay. Tricky Towers, that's one I was thinking of downloading. It looks like kind of a fun puzzle game. I sort of like the way, I like the art style. And uh, it looks fun. I think I'm going to add this to my wish list. Josh is always negative. He hates everything. Boom. Added to wish list, sucka. Now what? All right, so I'm going to, I just added to, I, I never go back and look at my wish list, but I, I'm going to, I think I'm going to download that. That looks like a fun one. Um, we got Wind Jammers, baby. The most exciting, the most entertaining sports game ever made returns on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, that looks so exciting. Hey guys, remember the Sega Genesis? Remember the Super Nintendo? God, I remember the Super Nintendo. Like what? I don't... She looks kind of hot for a pixelated character. Sure, whatever. I don't know. I, I can't be $15. No. Fortnite... Mark of the Ninja Remastered. Okay, let's move on to great deals. This takes a lot out of me, by the way. These videos take a lot out of me when I have to make this. We've got Bull Boy, Legend of the Bouncy Bob. We've seen a lot of these before. Bouncy Bob, holy crap. Is, is that a record? Has a game ever sold more than that? on Or has a game ever been discounted more than that on the Switch? It is 14 cents. If you look at this game in a specific way, you'll accidentally download it. That's how cheap it is. I was kind of interested in this when I, I remember seeing this and I was like, oh, I kind of maybe like the art style. At 14 cents, how can you go wrong? These people must be desperate though. Like why would you discount your game to 14 cents? That makes no sense to me. I guess maybe just to get attention, get the games, uh, get attention for the game. But why would you at least be like a buck? That's really weird. Download it. It's 14 cents. Swap this. <laughs> 49 cents. It's so weird to see games so dirt cheap. There's another 49 cents. No thing. Have we talked about no thing before? I think we actually did look at this before. Yeah. I think that was Benjamin Franklin's head. Halloween pinball. I think I did notice this because I was like, ooh, Halloween pinball. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, this doesn't look great. Like, what's with the artwork underneath there? I do like the skeleton. That's cool. And the pumpkin. Like, some of that stuff's neat. But uh, overall, who's number one? James is number one. Good job, James. <laughs> Wait, hold on. James is number one. And then Ken is number two. Apparently, Ken is from Japan. Why am I doubting that? Why am I doubting that a Japanese person named their child Ken? Very strange. I guess somebody whose name is Ken, they could have moved to Japan and they live there or something. I don't know. Uh, Wander Song. I remember looking at this. This is like... Uh, um, playing this game is like the equivalency of drinking a gallon of soy milk, I think. It's like, Hi, I'm a little elf boy and I'm going to walk around singing. And there's rainbow and colors everywhere. Hi, I'm a ripoff of an Adventure Time character. Good luck, little bard. I just, I remember seeing an interview with the people that were making this and thinking, oh boy, Ugh. I don't know, it's, it could be cute. Could be cute. But my job in these videos is to be an asshole, so it looks like a soy boy game. I think mostly what turns me off is that woman playing the violin. Uh, there's something about her. I just find obnoxious. Although I do like the art style. I do like the glittery look and the colors. I don't know. 
Everybody that I've seen who is really talking up this game are people that I don't like, so that's the problem. It could be great. $18, that's a bit much. A musical adventure where you use singing to save the world. Play as a silly bard who embarks on a globe-trotting journey to learn about the mysterious Earth song. Save said to prevent the universe's imminent end. See, I'm always annoyed in video games when you're trying to stop the world from ending. Because I always just feel like, why? Why not let it end? Don't you think that would be better? It'd be so much better if everything just turned to dust. So why am I saving it? It's up to you, you to sing your songs, unlock the world's secrets, and make new friends. Mm. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, well, that's that. Oh, man, we've got some super inefficient golf. What? Have I looked at this before? Why is it super Super inefficient golf. Yeah, that's the name. What? I am very much confused right now. Okay. Video kid. Ooh, I don't know. What is... Shut eye. Runbo. I really hate the art style of Runbo, by the way. I'm just going to throw that out there. I just think that looks terrible. I don't like it. Looks very generic. Looks very modern, generic. Yeah, not a fan. Uh, I know a lot of people like it, and I'm, I, you know, maybe it's a really fun game. I just, I don't like the art style at all. And I know art style isn't everything, but it's kind of hard to get over. I think it's really unappealing. This is the police. This is the police. Is a strategy game, adventure game set in a city spiraling the drain. Taking the role of gritty police chief Jack Boyd, you'll taking the role of gritty police chief Jack Boyd, you'll dive into the deep story of crime and intrigue. Will Jack reach his retirement with a nice stack of bills, or will he end up broke in or worse? Stay tuned next week to find out. This episode of This Is the Police is brought to you by Hula Hoops, the new fangled rooly wooly toy that kids are just sweeping the nation with. That's right, Hula Hoops. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I remember seeing Save the Ninja. I remember this one. Because I remember being blown away with how bad that artwork is. Yeah. And by the way, you know, you can get upset about me criticizing these games all you want. They're, they're in a store. They're trying to sell this stuff to me and to you and to everyone. When you're trying to sell something, you therefore are um, able to be criticized. And I mean, come on. I know it's a dollar fifty, but like, how does this get approved? There's uh okay, we need to speed this along, I think. Wait, no, uh cancel, hold on. We we haven't looked at uh what are what's selling the best on the switch right now? We'll look at this real quick. Diablo, a ten year old game, that's depressing. Uh Smash Brothers, that makes sense. Mario Party, that's depressing. Undertale, that's weird. Uh, man, is, where's Zelda Breath of the Wild? That one deserves to be number one all the time. Well, it's number 18. That's not, It's beating Mario Odyssey. I'm kind of happy about that. I like Odyssey, but Zelda's a better game. Um, okay. What? Burn Some Rubber is number 30. Huh. Okay. Well, how is this a number 19? What is this? Huh. Okay. It's very strange to see which games are the top. Ooh, Pikachu is see more more people are buying Pikachu than Eevee. I'm happy about that. I'm on Team Pikachu. Man, looking at the games that are the top selling titles on the Switch makes me think I really need to get into game development. Cause it looks very easy to be successful on the Switch. Alright. Coming soon. Coming soon to a Nintendo Switch near you. We've got Moonlighter. Every adventure has to pay off. Okay. Hmm, good color. Okay, Moonlighter. I have no thoughts on that. Sky Time. What is, what am I looking at here? 
Okay. Uh, World of Final Fantasy. Carnival. The, by the way, the people who make carnival games sent me a couple emails asking me if I wanted to review carnival games on the Switch, and I, I just ignored the email. Um, so, guys, if you happen to watch this video, thank you, but I'm, I'm, I'm flattered by the offer, but I'm going to pass. How much is carnival games on the Switch? $40. Oh, my God, look at that character design. Yeek. Ooh. Huh. Yikes. Yeah, that's a yikes from me. Okay. Oh, I thought that said Full Metal Furries. I was going to say what? Shadow of Loot Box. Shadow of Loot Box is a first-person shooter about micropayments, loot boxes, cut content, and everything we love in modern video games. Oh, this is this is cheeky. This is interesting. <laughs> this could be funny if done right. It's got like a Minecraft style, so like pixels and all that, so they might be poking fun of that. I like that, the overuse of it. That could be funny. I'm never going to look at it, but it could be funny. Brawlhalla. Am I done yet? Can I leave? <laughs> Can I get out of my own video yet? I'm stuck. In Guys, I'm stuck in this YouTube video looking at Nintendo Switch eShop games. Help me. Don't you care about me? No? Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at here. What is this? Is this a video game? The Art of Cooperation. Okay. I don't know what this is. I can't even begin to try and understand. It's just a bunch of art. This looks like it should be hanging on somebody's wall in a pretentious bathroom, not a video game. Help. Help me. $15. Oh, God. Yeah, sure. Click to game. What? Why? Do, oh, crick to game. What? Crick to game. What does that mean? I mean, this is like an iPad game. Don't put this stuff on the Switch. I don't know. The Bug Butcher. The Walking Vegetables. Radical Edition. That means it's been available for years on other platforms. I can't even bother. Rage in peace. What would you do if you knew you would die today? I wouldn't be making this video right now. I can tell you that much. All right. How much more? Oh my God! We can't. I think we have to look at this. The complete experience of standard setting adventure game finally arrives on Nintendo Switch. What? That's a bit pretentious, claiming that your generic-looking game is the standard-setting adventure. Standard-setting adventure in what, 1997? What is this? This has to be an old game, right? Yeah, this has got to be old. She looks kind of hot. The robot looks kind of creepy. That map, the woolly mammoth looks really sexy as well. Look at the trunks on that. Man. Uh, I don't know. Timber Tennis. Take part in the annual Timber Tennis World Championships. There it is. That That's just a tombstone playing against... Well, it still might have more content than Mario Tennis Aces, so let's not knock it. How much more?! There's a lot of crap coming up. Look at them breastses. Hey, fellas, do you like mm, boobs? Because I got a hot new game for you to play. It's called SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. And let me tell you, fellas, there's a lot of um, boobs. Uh, hey, whoa, look at the dude. Okay, look to the left, and in about the middle, there's a karate guy fighting another dude. That guy's got quite a bulge going. Hey, you know what, ladies? Let's be equal here. You like bulges, ladies? This game's got some bulges for you, too. Pretty good. Got lots of boobs and bulges. This could be good. And, of course, it's this. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? I think this is, a, this is an old game, right? SNK or something? Or this is an old game console? I don't know. I started playing video games yesterday, so I don't know what any of this stuff is. But I did see the boobs, so I clicked. 
Uh, okay. Z -z -z oh, look at that. Are we done? Can we be done? This looks like a cool art style. <clears throat> Brace yourself for a pixel game or a point and click game. Colin Thiele's Storm Boy the Game. Hello, I'm Colin, and I've been working very hard on my very own game for the Nintendo Switch. I hope you'll partake and, and purchase it. Oh, look. Oh! Spank my bottom. It's an actual 3D game. Storm Boy lived with Hideaway Tom. A what? Storm Boy lived with Hideaway Tom, his father. Yikes. Oh, nice, pretty. Whoa, look at this. This seems... I Listen, kids, don't do that in real life. Those guys are generally pretty mean when you get close to them. Those pelicans. Believe me, I know. That looks like it could be good, actually. What kind of game is it? What's the genre? Adventure. Huh. Six bucks. That looks high quality. Good job, Storm Boy. Good job, Colin. A bleaker predicament. What? Ad Adventures of Burt Tram Fiddle Episode 2. Wow. This is the most British-looking screenshot I have ever seen of a video game. What's happening in this? There's a million things happening in this. I... This game looks fantastic. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I know that it's great. Oh my god! Oh, buy this game. I don't know what it is. Buy it. What is the genre? Adventure. Cloud save cloud data save data cloud backup. Yeah, that's supported. Okay. Um that's gonna be it, guys. I am in a lot of pain right now from sitting through this. ATV uh drifts and tricks. There you go. Look at it. There it is. We we said it would never be able to run on the switch, and there it is, right there. Look at that. Actually, this game does look high quality. What am I saying? Uh 35 bucks. Who's the developer of this? Microids. Microids sounds like something you should take a pill for to get rid of. Uh, that's going to be it. Thank you, guys. Wait a minute. What am I, blind? I didn't click on Circle of Sumo. The award-winning Circle of Sumo finally comes to Nintendo Switch. I love how, like, every description says, finally comes to Nintendo Switch. Translation, this is an old-ass game, and we'd like to make some money with it on the Switch. Um, wow. Were there black sumos? I feel like that's inaccurate. Diversity is our strength in this sumo wrestling game that should be strictly focused on Japanese men. That looks amazing, though. What in the world? Yeah, this does look award-winning. I'll give it that. That looks good. In fact, that looks so stupid and good, I'm adding it to my wish list. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> We've insulted a lot of people, <clears throat> whether it be developers or, or people of, of various ethnicities or religions or, or backgrounds. I've insulted myself many times. Another typical eShop video in the can here at the BitBlock. I love all of you. Yes, even you. I'm going to jump in the shower and uh, scrub off the stench of the Nintendo Switch eShop. Man, it is really... I, I, all joking aside, it is like... Uh, painful to try and go through this eShop. To try and find games that are like good. There's so much that it takes you forever and it really just drains the life out of you. My God! <laughs> Good night!